GTA players love their supercars, they really love their supercars, and they want to see them come back in GTA 6. So today in this video, we're going to cover 5 supercars that fans want to see in GTA 6. Number 5, X80 Proto. To be clear, the F80 is not associated in any form with Ferrari, but Rayleigh based the design on the concept on Ferrari's Formula 1 race car right down to the V8 engine and the Curse system. As far as the X80 Proto is concerned, it's easy to spot the similarities between these two exotics. The sharp nose and the long aggressive rear is straight out of Rayleigh's design playbook. Where the two cars differ is in power and performance, in keeping with Ferrari's identity of building some of the fastest and most powerful cars in the world, Rayleigh's F80 has 1200 horsepower on tap. It can also sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.2 seconds. It would have become the fastest accelerating car in the world if it was real, and hit a top speed of 310 miles per hour. Oh and con just because depending on your taste is going to determine where you put this at but the looks some people may not like the but the car itself isn't that much better than the t20 if anything i would almost say for racing the t20 is still superior 27 plus million dollars for this car another negative is that it's not actually as overpowered as we thought and i guess that's also a pro as well number four the wagner I actually don't know where Rockstar comes up with these names, but I'm not too busted about not knowing. What's important is that cars like the Wagner are available in the game, and they look exactly like the cars they're based on. In the Wagner's case, it's easy to see the Aston Martin in its design because it looks exactly like the Valkyrie. The colors are different, but the proportions are nearly identical to the early prototype version of the Aston Martin hypercar, and that is where the similarities stray. The Wagner carries the same top speed as the GP1, so you're really picking hairs between the two. Fortunately, there is one other thing that the Valkyrie and the Wagner have in common. Both are ridiculously expensive. Proto race car. Only a lot more down to earth in terms of visuals as well as the affordability, making it on par with a lot of other supercars in GT Online, and is very difficult to oversteer without using the handbrake, making it a very easy to drive car at high speeds. However, I personally wouldn't use this car in races because of, uh, oops, uh, said that by accident. On the road, the VAD features the usual characteristics of all the other supercars in the game, featuring great road holding. Number 3, the GP1. Notice those side streaks? It's one of the classiest looking cars in the game, but there's always a catch as you might have already noticed at this point. The real McLaren F1 was powered by a 6.1 liter V12 engine that produced 618 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. It can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.2 seconds, and hit a top speed of 240 miles per hour without breaking a sweat. The F1 paved the way for a lot of today's supercars, and if you want to include the GP1 in the virtual gaming category of that list, you can do that. Be advised though, the GP1's top speed maxes out at 132 miles per hour. It's still one of the fastest cars you get to drive in GTA 5, but it's nowhere near as fast as its real life counterpart. Number 2, the Nero Custom. You would think that if Rockstar Games were to use the Bugatti version of Gran Turismo and create a version of it for GTA 5, it would be for a car that would occupy a higher spot on this list. Nope, the Nero Custom looks like the Bugatti version, Gran Turismo, right down on the, all the active era surrounding the car. Unfortunately, that's the extent of the similarities between the Nero Custom and the Bugatti Vision Gran Turismo. For reasons that remain unclear, the Nero Custom only boasts a top speed of 131 miles per hour, less than half the top speed of the Vision Gran Turismo. It seems like a waste of a fantastic car, doesn't it? Number 1, Itali GTB Custom. Benny's Custom is responsible for some of the sickest cars you'll see in the world of Grand Theft Auto V. The Itali GTB Custom is one of those creations. Like all the cars in this list, the Itali GTB Custom is an interpretation of a real life supercar. One look at it and you can immediately recognize what you're looking at. That's a McLaren 570 GT, folks. Unfortunately, the Itali GTB Custom can't quite approach the 200 miles per hour top speed of the 562 horsepower 570 GT. Still, it's one of the fastest cars in Grand Theft Auto V thanks to a top speed of 130 miles per hour. That's gonna do it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any of our videos in the future. If you want to see more, comment down below and tell us what you want to see in the future. Thank you for watching again and I'll see you guys in the next video.